Hi, this is the second episode of Ripley. I'm going to play Quake, a classic 3D shooter, actually. Made a big hit back in 1996. It was uh, an arm of Descent. It actually was quite a different kind of shooter. Uh, one of the big game changers in the industry. Uh, actually, Descent was before, I think, Quake. Uh, but Quake uh, was the big shooter in terms of franchises, as you know, and uh, big success. Destiny has its success, but it also was uh, quite a good game back then. Uh, Destiny was actually the first one to use uh, full 3D environment. Uh, so, Quake wasn't the first one. Uh, this was a good year for first-person shooters. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D also came that year, uh, but it used uh, some old uh, texture sprite graphics instead of 3D. Uh, although Quake before uh, made a groundbreaking use of using 3D graphics. So uh, yeah, this this is the Quake. To look how it holds. Okay, okay. I don't know why I didn't have free look, but actually I was checking it. Need to type this, and yep, we get free look. Let's change the controls because we need to customize something. Yep, the classics. V W S A. D, shift, ok, ok, swim up, swim down, wow, that's this is amazing. let's see how it looks like, maybe turn up mouse speed sensitivity as it is now today, and we can, yep, it works, ok, we can jump, no we can jump now, as you can say, it is full crisp, oh, oh, I was supposed to strafe on left and right. Let's change the controls again. Uh, turn left and right now. Step left, step right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We got free look of mouse. We can jump in space as with all modern games. So yeah, this is it. Uh, quite gloomy game actually, uh, inspired by Lovecraft, Lovecraft uh, works partially. Well, maybe not inspired. Some of Lovecraft's teams are inside this. Uh, the nice thing is this that we can choose a difficulty level right in the game, not by choosing an option in the menu, but by the game. So we will look. How it turns out, okay. So, oh yeah, we can choose the episodes. We can choose the episode in which, uh, which we will play. So I don't know if we can get... No, it's closed. No, it's not closed. I thought they were all closed. You need to go through all of them. First episode. Dimension of the Doom, the mystical past comes to life. Okay, let's go. Let's kill something. I was so excited actually to play this game because I remember playing this game. Yeah. I don't remember secrets. Uh, I remember this game uh, only when it originally came out. But. Uh, I Play it. Play it more. And this is my. Okay, uh. I should configure also pressing some buttons. Uh. Blah 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 blah. blah. Back to the right step, side step, side step. Okay. Oh, I thought I should use 
button or something like that. The graphics aren't amazing. Uh, actually, I'm playing not on the full resolution mode uh, since I use uh, OBS or get software to record this. And it has some technical issues, so I'm playing um, 800 by 600 pixels. There's no reload here. Okay. No, no, how to get there. Um, well, I thought that actually playing uh, the lower resolution game might provide some more nostalgic moments in this game. Because I thought, uh, I think that I played this game on this resolution game and get some, some ugly undead Dobermans and some soldiers and crants. Okay, okay, we got some new weapon. Yeah, nail gun. Nail gun. Music for this game, the soundtrack was actually made by Nine Inch Nails, and I thought I saw a logo in the band uh, on the nail band. Secrets. Yeah, one of six. Excellent. Oh, wow. Guy with chainsaw actually throws us uh, grenades, so I don't know if this guy should be a melee fighter, close combat fighter, or uh, a so, although the game has some Lovecrafting elements, so as one of the monsters is supposed to be a dimensional shambler, a creature from uh, works of Power Phillips Lovecraft. If you haven't read anything, by, uh, if you haven't read anything by HPL, I strongly suggest you do this. Um, uh, read uh, Color Out of Space, uh, Shadow of a Smooth. These are favorites. Those traps, hell traps. I actually uh, was a pioneer in, in terms of horror of the 20th century, right next to Edgar Allan Poe. And he wrote some strange shit about hell and gods coming to Earth and actually killing everyone. If you ever heard about Cthulhu, you know 
you know Lovecraft, okay? So, so the the works of Lovecraft were actually suspense stories where everyone dies and as you can imagine this game doesn't take uh, it's mood from Lovecraft works but there are some monsters that uh, they're named from Lovecraft and they remind of Lovecraft this texture really nice uh, was actually looks like from Doom keep in mind that Quake was made by IT Software the same company that brought you Commander Keen and Wolfenstein and, and of course Doom and, and many more great titles like Daikatana play this game Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Well, this guy looks like from Lovecraft Works. He jumps, he kills fast. Okay, okay, so we, okay, this was a trap only. Um, so I must say, I like the graphics. I like if I think if this game was published right now, as a, on the wave of, uh, of retro games. Okay, no secrets. Sorry, uh, on the wave of uh, uh, retro games like big black pixels and that stuff. Uh, I think. It will be a hit. Nails like I told you. Okay, so it's like a leech. Oh yeah, it reminds me that actually I'm running Call of Duty Day tomorrow. Yep. Day of the Beast. We need a golden key. Okay. Mm. The graphics are quite gloomy, as you can see. Dark torches. Looks like Middle Ages, actually. Okay, those the zombies actually are trolling pieces of meat. They tear cells. This is kind of wacky. of them are here. Ah. Which we are supposed to do? Which way? Oh. We opened some secret? Where was Oh, okay. I forgot that. I need to change. Crouch, crouch. They said size the plant. Wait, there's no crunch. Crouch. What the? How? Mm. How 
Bombs should I... No. Okay. As you can see, they are classic examples. So you can't kill them. Let's take some ammo, open this thing, run, run, run. Actually, it feels like a rush. Okay, no, okay. I really do remember that there's some trap over here. Oh, yeah, that was a trap. And I need to go. Design, video, audio, any kind of shit. Always remember to save your game. Okay, okay. I wonder if I can do the first episode in this first hour of gaming. So let's try. We killed some zombies with the platform, I think. Uh, yes. Some suit I don't even, I don't even read what type of suit I got. I think it's a swim suit. Oh, yeah, super nail gun. Right. Keep it going, keep it going. <coughs> and the, the story behind it. I, don't know what this is I know that in Wolfenstein you were supposed to escape from the castle. In Doom you were supposed to save yourself from uh, some space station and whoa pentagrams, yeah cool. Pentagrams on uh, okay so uh, in Doom actually you were supposed to escape from some space station and defeat the evil I kind of feel like ID Software has something to do with Pentagrams. It really didn't help to make 
computer games more popular because of those pentagrams and all this crazy shit about Satanism and all that. Mm. Actually, you get uh, ammo for a better weapon. Something that is not seen. Yes. As you can see, uh, have also quite nice graphic interface here which can be minimized by actually making the window smaller back in the days when your machine can handle the game you just make it smaller so, yeah actually I think I oh yeah It also feels like uh, also some sound effects. Uh, that's and arcs. I don't know why. Yeah, at least they don't use fill on screen. If you don't know what's fill on screen, go and check it out. Okay, again, one of three secrets kills 38 and 42. Okay. Yes, yeah, some castles. Yeah, that will explain the knights. Shiny arrows and swords, actually, that can kill an armed guy with a shotgun. <coughs> so there's no reload, I get this, this itch to reload every time. Okay, a rocket launcher. Shambler, he uses electricity. He's technically advanced and I think I'm supposed to use. Uh, I think I was supposed to use a grenade launcher, but since there's no weapon uh, change in the mouse. Change the cycles. Arrgh, arrgh, those walls can't get through them. I was wondering if I can actually paste. Uh, what happens? Nah. If someone knows what I means, he's probably as old as I am. I the clip. Yeah, good times, good times. Okay. 
Okay. So far, so good. Some more rockets. Okay. We're on the quest. Get the summer key. Okay. Now, we're supposed to take a turn somewhere. Over there, and was I? Okay, okay. Well, that was bad. Okay, I think. Yep, I should save. I should save. Save often. Snow. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but then we can learn games. I remember playing to friends. Actually, the round parties. So amazing to us. But recording the show lets me remember those things. Maybe it's more than a little because some of these games are not as good as one of them. Quake sign over there. In, back in those days, even in first person shooters, you had to think where to push, what, how, and just figure the things out because it wasn't all about the story, you know. There's no story here, this is this is absurd. Some of these it's all the level design is just bizarre, but the game. Awesome. Okay, we shot the quake sign. Ooh, shiny. Two guys. Let's head down the okay. As you can see the launcher isn't some power field all because 
I think I'll dab with the shotgun. Okay, okay, we need to think fast. We need to think. Okay, I need to think actually. opening some portal okay let's go to the portal we need a golden key I don't think running through here is a good idea so we need to figure out where the golden key might be we got a silver key It was safe back in the doom, but not here. Okay, I got. kill zombies, you just need to use a rocket launcher. <laughs> There's open cells well, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the golden key right now. Oh, 
this was no do 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 need to look for this thing that looks like uh, oh right here. <laughs> Killer, actually. 
it feels like using an alien would be a better choice. Yeah. Three out of four. Okay, but I know we we knew where there was one secret. Uh, so we get about. Oh, so I think we are actually. Straight up should we? I think this is going to Yeah, I think I would go and go here. Push this thing and then this thing. It feels like some Mario Kart racing game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Mm. Yep. Mm. Sorry to say so. I really don't know what to do now. <laughs> okay. Um, kill the guy. You got the glyph. Oh, there's something. Isn't it? Yep. It looks like something. Congratulations! The cops of the monstrous entity, John. Okay, this is Lovecraft, John. Yeah, Ketanians, actually, Ketanians. Ketanians. There were Ketanians in Lovecraft, but uh, there were like worms, like from Dune. If you ever seen Dune, I know, you know what I'm talking about. So Ketan sinks back into the lava whence it rose. Grip the rune of Earth magic tightly. Now that you have conquered the dimension of the doomed realm. Earth magic. No, of the doomed air realm of earth magic. You are ready to complete your task. A rune of magic power lies at the end of each undead land of quake. Okay, so the quake is the realm, supposedly. Go forth, seek the totality of the four runes. Yeah! So. So we finished the first realm. Uh, we got three more left. It doesn't feel like it feels that that I could actually finish this in one long evening because it took me less than an hour to complete the first one. I don't think the latter ones are uh, the later ones are uh, easier in the way. Mm. In fact, they might get more complicated, and the first one was, uh, as I remember, was uh, in Sharwar, uh, because back then the games were in Sharwar mode, where you get a piece of game, like a demo. Yeah, I think demo and Sharwar. No, we actually had to pay for Sharwar. So you got like 25% of the game, supposedly, of Quake, and if you like it. I could uh, get more. Okay, so what is this? This is the second uh, episode, the realm of black magic, ancient castles, and strange beasts ahead. Okay, no strange beasts were back mm. in the first one, right? <laughs> Zombies, uh, dogs, knights. No, no strange beasts. Okay, let's see what we have. This is the third episode, the netherwall, primal fear in a strange dimension. Okay, this feels like Lovecraft. This is the fourth appeal of the Elder War. The worst nightmares come true. Elder. Okay, this is the world of Lovecraft. Elder. So I think we'll end this episode right now, right here. Uh, we we went through the first episode. Uh, what I, how I feel right now? Uh, it feels good. It feels good after so many years. Uh, 
the, the graphics are kind of mm, <laughs> well rough you might say but uh, I played some of the old games and I can't handle some of them because they're like too old they, they feel too old they feel too clumsy and all that stuff but uh, Quake uh, no as I said before if this game was released as a retro game uh, it would be a good game so I hope you enjoyed uh, the second episode of Ripley. Uh, if you want to see some specific games, just write in the comments. Uh, if you want to see continuations of Quake or the UFO so far, uh, just like the previous episodes or this episode. So yeah, that's all. I hope you like it uh, and we'll be back in some time with uh, Another episode of Ripley. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, man. Subscribe. There will be more, I promise. <laughs>